In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how you would do cross-site scripting testing using Burp Suite. And again, it's very similar to doing the SQL injection. We're going to use the intruder. And certainly Burp Suite does some testing for basic SQL injection, cross-site scripting, those sorts of things. And if you find something, you can certainly dig into it in a little bit more detail and see what else you can turn up or you could just simply do this testing if you were just looking for cross-site scripting. You don't have to worry about doing an active attack against the pages. You could just run through the intruder with what you're looking for. In this case, what I want to do is find a page that's vulnerable to cross-site scripting. And it looks like guess num1 here is vulnerable. And so I'm going to go back over here and find guess num1. Close up some of these things so it's a little bit easier to find. And here we've got guess num1 right there. I'm going to take this request here, the one with the parameters in it. So this is the post method. And I'm going to send that over to the intruder, just like we've been doing so far. We've got the attack target. And now I'm going to do my positions. And I'm going to clear everything out. And all I want to do is I want to do the player parameter here. So I'm going to add a position in. Now I'm going to go to my payloads and I'm going to leave it a simple list again, although I could do other manipulations for it. And I'm going to go to cross site scripting. You can see similar to SQL injection, we've got a lot of different possibilities here because I don't see just a very basic one. I'm just going to do this right here. This is a very, very simple one. And I'm going to add that in. Now we can go back up to the intruder menu. We can do a start attack. And it's going to pop it up just like we did before. And let's see what we actually got for responses here. Open this up a little bit more so we can actually see something. Drag the window open. And now let's do a render. And it looks like everything is there, although we're not actually getting much of anything here that would suggest that it's popping up. Certainly Burp Suite's not popping it up. It's hard to tell exactly what's going on. Maybe the server has done some stripping and changing, although we could check that using HTML here. And it looks like it's in correctly. It's difficult to know for sure whether we've got something that is actually going to generate the cross-site scripting, although it certainly looks like it does. This right here, this script alert and then close script should actually generate the pop-up box, but we're not actually getting that here from the render. It could be that Burp Suite's just not doing that for us. But certainly we did some testing and we've got a lot of different results. And you can take a look at these. If anything kind of looks like this, you can then take it back and pop it into a browser. And actually, let's just try that. I'm going to try this right here. And we're going to take it into the browser here. And it's actually cgi bin slash guess num1 dot dot pl and i left the one out let's do that so now we're going to paste this in we're going to click guess and it looks like there's some javascript validation that's going on here so we would have to do something like using tamper data and do the alteration after javascript as usual using these automated tools isn't the ending of doing this sort of testing it's a really good starting point and it can take you down some interesting roads and certainly we can do easier testing with Burp Suite in doing manipulations where we did something like character substitution or if we were to do something like a case modification. It's a lot easier to do those sort of things in an automated way using Burp Suite than it is to try to go through by hand or even writing a script yourself. Using Burp Suite makes it a lot easier to do that sort of activity.